Hello guys, welcome to PowerPoint 26 in tutorial. This is Anil back in this tutorial. This is class 4. In this class, you will be learning how to create puzzle pieces in PowerPoint. What you mean by puzzle pieces? Yes, puzzle pieces are something that this single box, whatever the yellow box you are seeing is a puzzle piece and the green box is a puzzle piece and this red box is a puzzle piece and this blue box is a puzzle piece so combinedly all these four boxes makes a puzzle so to create a puzzle we need puzzle boxes or puzzle pieces so we have to create these puzzle pieces and then we have to arrange those into a shape then the puzzle gets completed so how to create these puzzle pieces in powerpoint and also how we can show those puzzle pieces in a 3d format and whatever you're seeing on the left side, this is called the reflection or the shadow of the, the puzzle piece. So this is a puzzle. And we have given some bevel option and we have given some 3D features for this puzzle. So we, you are seeing the uh, reflection shadow and whatever you are seeing on this image. This is not created anywhere on any any platform. This is simply done on PowerPoint. Yes this can be achieved in powerpoint and it's very simple and easy it's very simple why to waste time just get into the powerpoint now let me jump into powerpoint let me open a powerpoint session so this is powerpoint 2016 uh, so let me take a layout blank layout now what i will do is so to do this what i need to do is first i have to create one puzzle box then i can replicate or duplicate the puzzle boxes into three other uh, puzzle boxes and I can combine that to become a puzzle so first what I have to do is what I have to insert a shape called rectangle but I don't want a rectangle here I want a square so how to achieve a square here we don't have a square shape in this shapes menu so what you can do is you click on this rectangle button first next click your shift key on your keyboard now just draw the rectangle so that it becomes a square perfect square now square is drawn now the next thing what you can do is you need a connector right for for this image you, you need a circle connector and a pipe connector okay now we have to draw a circle so to draw a circle again you have to go to shapes menu click on this oval shape and hold the shift key to make that oval to a circle yes i feel this circle is okay now i'm placing exactly on top of that now again what i can do is i want to draw a pipe for connector again i will go to insert and i will draw a shape called rectangle now i don't want a square i want a rectangle so i'm just drawing a rectangle without holding a shift key on my keyboard so let me draw a rectangle a little bit wider in length okay i feel this is good let me place this here okay and what I will do is I will select everything and I will go to format I will select the shape outline as no outline now there is no outline for these images now what I will do is I will select these two images and I will do arrange align center Now these two are aligned center, you can maximize your screen and you can see. Now what you can do is, you have to group these two images. Now to group that, you have to click on the format and go to merge shapes and click union. Now this is became a single element. This is grouped now. These two shapes got merged into a single shape. Now this is grouped. Now what you can do is, you have to take the duplicate of this again. Now you have to rotate this into yes, left 90 and place exactly in the center. And if you have any doubt, what you can do is, if you, if you feel that this is not exactly in center, you can select these two 
shapes and go to align and align middle so that now these two shapes are in center now what you can do is now these two shapes are selected now go to format mid shapes and select subtract got it now you have to take this shape and you have to place exactly in top of this shape and now you have to select this entire shape and go to arrange align center now this and this are in center now what you will do is select this entire thing format union now this all shapes became a single shape now what you will do is place this shape here somewhere on the screen now create a duplicate click on this press control d now this is duplicated now what you will do is rotate 90 now just place on top of this one done next click on click on the top of the puzzle piece control d now again rotate 90 now click and control d rotate 90 now all the shapes are good and looking like a uh, single image now what you can do is you can select this first image and give some color to that and give it as yellow and make the outline as red select this one okay let me go with the image itself so this is orange so let me select the orange color for this one okay orange next one green so select this one as green green next one as red next one as sky blue now what you will do is uh, these are individual puzzle pieces now now we have to make this as a group so before that we will give some uh, outline for these individual pieces so outline would be something white for this one also let me select all white now outline is given as white now what we'll do is select the entire box and right click on that group group now this is grouped now what you can do is click the shift button press drag this now this is dragged now this is called the 2d version of the puzzle piece now how to apply 3d format for this one right click on that go to format shape go to the second option none and bottom level as this one and top level as this one and bottom as black top as white done next we have selected 3d rotation contrasting right 3d format top bevel angle bottom level angle white black and here in material what you have to do is special effect take this as special effect and in lighting take this as special effect okay next go to reflection select this one it is done so again it's up to you if you want to give some glow you can gl give the glow based on this if you don't want to give any glow you can remove the glow it's up to you i'm not giving any glow here now what you can do is you can give the color as black here now if you see the output oh, this is very small let me drag this big now if you see 
currently what is there on the desktop and currently what you are seeing on this PowerPoint both are same right this is my desktop and this is what you are seeing on the PowerPoint so it is very simple to achieve this I hope you enjoy this video if you have any questions on this video let me know I will try to address your questions as soon as possible and keep watching my next videos it will be very interesting and thank you for watching have a great day bye bye and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and also i have created my blogs and you will find my blogs links in the below description thank you bye bye